Hey everyone and welcome to part two of my adult coloring supplies collection. This is my markers. So I am going to go ahead and just say this or off the bat. I'm just going to go ahead and talk a little bit about each one. Kind of give mini reviews, stuff like that. Like I did with my pencils. Um, and if I can find all the links to them, I'll link um, the stuff down below. It will be Amazon associate links. Um, this is so you're why uh, so, so you know because you have to i want to you know be able to say that and you have you have to you're gonna be linking you know that kind of stuff you have to say it but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and go through all of these and yeah it's gonna be like a little mini review and then part three is going to be my gel pens fine liners paints miscellaneous stuff that i use to color so yeah let's get started and the reason why these are right here, besides the fact that my desk is full of markers, because I have a lot more markers than I thought. These were actually my very first markers, which are the Crayola 100 Super Tips. I think everyone pretty much has heard of these or used these or has these. They, I think, are a staple in the coloring community. Um, they are really, really good. I do have to go through because a lot of these have started to dry out because I have used them a lot. Um... I keep these next to my bed because I have a book that I am working with in just marker when I do work on it and it's like that. So I do have these over there. And these little um, tin things here, I got them at Ollie's, I think. And you get them at Walmart as well. I think they're like a dollar at Aldi's. Or not Aldi's. Aldi, Ollie. It's O O L. Is it O L L I E S? Ollie's. Um, but yeah, these are my Crayola Super Tips. And they are really just amazing because you can. Um, put them down on the on a paper and just color with them. You can put um, pencils on top of them. You can scribble this down on like a um, like a cap somewhere, or something like that, like or on like a painting tray. And then you can pick the color up a little bit of a, on a wet paintbrush and you can use them as a watercolor. So yeah, these are really really good. I do like them. I'm gonna be trying to put these over here so I don't like run out of space. The next ones I have here are just my sharpies. These were my very first kind of alcohol markers. Um, this is, I think, I got a 24 set at Walmart or something like that. Um, but these are just the Sharpies, the fine pointed Sharpies. Um, so yeah, I think the only one that I have, is it this one? No, yeah. This is the only one actually, now I'm remembering it has to get tossed because it was um, used up. But I put it in there. But yeah, these ones I really like to color with them. They are still one of my favorites to reach for if I'm just doing kind of some small stuff, type of stuff. Let's see. Let's grab these here, which I have them in this little um, school pencil case type of thing. Um, I got this at a grocery store for like 25 cents. And this has my Bic marking markers. And I have the regular ones, which are the fine points, which are like the Sharpie tips. And then I have the uh, fine tip ones, the fine liner type tips, the ultra fines. And then mixed in, I also have the metallic ones, which are kind of like a like a milky kind of one. These actually, um, it says permanent marker. But these do not actually go through coloring book pages if you're if you use it a very light hand. So you can actually use the, the um, metallic ones on your um, double spread uh, page spread if you go very lightly. And then I have on um, in here as well these, which are pen marked. They're from the ink brand. You can get these at the Dollar Tree, like a Dollar Tree version of a Sharpie. Um, they work really good actually have a lot of pigment to them and they actually do work good this kind of run out a little faster than your um bix and your um your that choked up their bix and your sharpies would okay let's see let's grab these ones here so over here in my um an old um tea tin i got uh, this is a tea set i got at walmart um it was, I think, like, I think $10, you get six different teas, something like that. $12, you get six different teas. And here I have my Crayola brush tips. My eyes are brush tip markers. I really hope that they do um, expand these in the future, even though they're... Ow. They're hard to close. They snap very tightly, so you'll not want to worry about um, 
a dried up marker, but these work really, really good. I think these are the, I think a 32 set, I think, I'm not sure. But yeah, I, I love them really good. I just hope that well, if they do expand these, they get a little more browns and a little more skin tones in there. Cause actually, I think, I think this is tan. If you look at it, my tan is actually my skin tone. Or not my skin tone, but my light skin tones. And my apricot is actually my tan. <laughs> When I got them, uh, someone else said that they had the same problem, as, or not the same problem, the same kind of mix-up. I thought it was actually funny. Um, and then we have these ones here, which are not brush uh, pens. These are the tan mint brush pens, and these ones are really, really good. They have a different tip to them than the Crayolas. They look uh, about the same as the Crayolas, but they are li have a little bit more of a give to them than the Crayolas. The Crayolas are kind of stiffer, and these kind of feel more like a paintbrush in a sense. They're not fully flowing like a paintbrush, but they are a little more of a looser tip to it. And then they also have a fine liner end to it, but I never have used the fine liner ends on this, um, in these ones. And then I have Those are the swatches of them. But I will admit, um, I've gotten so used to them, I don't actually need this in there. I know exactly what the colors I'm gonna reach for, so. But yeah, I really like them. And then, see, I have these ones here because they're right in the, uh, in the way. These are not in the way, but right in my face. You know, I'm blocking off between the gel pens. These are the GC Quills. They are pretty much the same thing as the, um, can mitts, just different name to them. It's pretty much like the Cali Arts and like the more budget friendly markers, like the Touch 5, Touch News. They're like from the same manufacturer. It's just uh, when they put it on here, they put a different name on there, but it's still the same. You get a brush tip. I should probably actually choose the lighter colors you can see. <clears throat> you get the brush tip, and then you get the fine point. And if you see the numbers to them, it's because I do have, I have swatched them out. I believe uh, this was already on camera as well, swatching them out. And then I have the Rose Art uh, One Heart Super Tips. These, in my opinion, are actually better than the Crayolas. I think the Crayolas are good if you are someone who likes to do, um, like landscapes and flowers, all that kind of stuff. These ones on the other hand are better if you like to do peoples and stuff like that because they have a wide range here from this one right here to this one right here. So the whole front pretty much you have about 10, is that, no, that's 12 and possibly 13 different skin tones to use from. Um, so yeah, I really think that this is, I, that's where this one shines a little bit more. You get a little more blues and greens in the Crayolas, but you get a little more skin tones and yellows in the set. And it does, if you pull it like this, you can kind of pop it in like that and it kind of sits up nicely. And then you just kind of fold this and push it back down. And the reason why um, the blacks over here is because for some reason, there's a hundred colors here, and then this was a hundred one. So I don't know if it was a mess up or if that's how it goes. I'm not sure. So I just have it off to the side because I have a hundred one in there instead of a hundred. And I do actually have another set of that, um, actually in the living room. Um, my mom has been using them and really, really loves them. So I leave them out there for her. And then let's see. I think let's grab over here. So I have the Faber Castell connector pens. These are felt tip pens. Oops, sorry about that. So these are not kind of like your super tips. These are like your felt tip pen on a style and they connect at the cap and they're like this right here. So let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. It's like a nice, nice little felt tip pen. And they are very pigmented and very nice um, color when I lay down. <clears throat> I have not had a problem with these um, ripping the paper or peeling the paper or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just like slamming things around. I apologize. But yeah, I really, really do like these. 
and I have recently used these if you want to see them on display um, for my color long in monstrous mandalas um, I used them on there I try to use a, a nice um, variety of colors so let's grab here I'm just kind of grabbing at this point these are the touch new skin tone markers um, these ones here are just like what it says is a skin tone set um, it has a different variety of them. I actually had to go through these because a lot of these have been used up and they need to go to my marker graveyard bag. Um, so yeah, a lot of these have been used up. I know the flesh one um, in this set didn't come very juicy. At least not in this end. Was it this end? I'm not sure. It might got rejuiced up a little bit, but... Um, these are really good uh, to you have for if you're looking just for dedicated skin tones. They have these ones and the Cali Art ones. Um, I probably will purchase another a set of the um, Cali Art skin tones pretty soon because I'm starting to run out of my Cali Art 100, which I'll show in a second. And I need some extras, so. And this bag here is the Touch. Five, I think, or the Touch New, the Touch Five markers. So this set here is not the full set of them. I had about ten or twelve of these when they came um, dried out, or within like one or two uses were dried out. Um, so they are in my marker graveyard in here um, with my, some of my Cali arts that have dried out. The reason I have these in here saved is because you can buy, um, you can buy, um, marker refills, like Copic refills that match up to some colors, and then you can refill in there, so that's why I just kind of set them aside instead of throwing, uh, throwing them away or anything like that and tossing them, so I just keep them on as extra. And I really like this set, it has some of the best, I think, reds in here, um, but if you're gonna go for alcohol markers, go for, I think, the next set I'm about to show you. Because for the price with ones you get, um, I haven't, I never had a dry one until I used it up, which is the Cali Arts. Um, these you have seen me use many, 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 many times on my channel. These are amazing. Um, they're budget friendly. I think these, I think they have gone up in price recently. I think they're about 40, 45 99 or 49 99 So it is kind of expensive possibly expensive i guess you'd say um but i think that what that does that equal out to about if it's 49.99 and what 50 cents a marker so i guess it's kind of actually a good deal because of the fact that you get 100 and it's if you go to a dollar store it's like a dollar per for like one sharpie usually so and you only get usually one or, co one or two colors um but yeah these work amazing these are probably my favorite markers um i have used especially alcohol markers they have a nice color range to them and as you see some of the colors are missing in here because of the fact that i have um used them up and they are in my make on my marker graveyard bag Let's see, I can zip this up and, down that. and then over on my shelf, actually, the reason I don't see it, if I can reach it, I have the two blender pens that come with it. And I kept them off to the side because you can blend, like, your um, colored pencils and stuff like that with it. Let's see if I can reach over here. Ugh. So, one of my more recent markers, if I can reach there we go okay are the arteza everblends um these ones here are amazing and i have been enjoying calling with them it's gonna be loud low probably there you go um these are the colors to them but yeah i really love using these and i have been trying to get more and more practice in with blending and stuff like that but these are really amazing and you can pull them out they are um, instead of being kind of square they are um, triangular and they have the names on the tops and you have a chisel tip and a fine tip nib tip to them and they have um, little straps in there to go into so they go like that um, yeah I really like these 
I'm trying to get better, like I said, with blending them, but these are also really good for just some straight coloring. And they come in this nice little clipped set here. I unclipped because I usually, my markers are behind me, so I have them set like this, and so I can just like open it up whenever I need them. And then, in my other Arteza um, travel case, is my Arteza real brush pens. Now, unlike the other brush pens, these are actually a real focus. There you go. These are actually a real brush where you can see they bend fully all the way down to the base. So it feels like you're using a paintbrush when you are coloring with these. I really like these. I have I still have to get I've had these for a long time and I still need to get better at these. Um I've had some problems recently with these where like I start going to blend and I'll like, do like that three color blend. You kind of sit there and blend and layer and stuff like that. And I'll come back to the, my, like say this is the latest one. This color for some reason would, oh, not this color, but like the lightest color would always kind of feel like it ran out of pigment and not want to put any color down. It kind of just like sucked it dry by layering it and stuff like that. So I have to practice with that and figure out why it's doing that. But I love coloring with these. They're really nice. They give a watercolor effect. And it comes with a little brush here as well. Um, but yeah, they give like a nice watercolor effect. Um, not watercolor markers or water-based markers. A watercolor paint um, feel to it. See, I really like these. And I do need to pull them out and get practice with them more. It's just after it, it kind of I guess it got a little frustrating, you know, when it was like um, you'd get really into the page you're doing and then like it would start to like one marker would start to dry out or one pen would start to dry out or seem to like not want to put the pigment down on the paper so it got kind of a little annoying so i just kind of pushed them off to the side for now so in here are the Stedler 326 markers if you watch zoe archer you know she um uses these a lot and these are so good and so amazing they have one of the truest kind of colors from the um the pen to the tip when you color with them and these are a felt tip pen as well and these are just amazing um they pretty much have a color in here for every occasion you know you have your cream color there for your skin tone for your lighter skin tone they have a lighter brown if you want to do a deeper skin tone they have a nice red there which kind of like would be like universe red and fuchsias they have a nice variance of blues and purples and greens so these are good for like maybe like doing smaller pictures if you want to just get like a set of these um these would be perfect as well if you have like more like maybe like a mini mandala book or something like that um you can just kind of pop that book into your bag you pop these in there as well and boom you have it and you can put anything else in there that you want to because there's enough room in this case for some extras you know stuff like that so Really, really nice. I just want to keep next to my bed as well. And then, in this little cactus one, are the Barrel um, by Papermates. These are the broad-tipped felt um, pen. And I have used these, and these work really, really good. Um, they have a lot of pigment to them, and they color very smooth on the paper which is really nice and i've used them on a mandala book and a like a, a single sided one and a double side uh, one and they don't bleed through the paper next up oh, these are my crayola um these are the multicultural set so that is um skin tones in here and these are the big markers these aren't like super tips these are the big broad tip ones so they're like super super huge and the skin tone range you get is this right here. Now they do have um, a new set, which, or not a new set, I think they added on to, which is 10 colors. And I think you get one more lighter skin tone and one more um, mid-tone uh, skin tone in the 10 set. Okay. In 
here we have the Crayola Fine Tips. See, they're felt tip fine, kind of fine liner pens. And these work really good as well. I had had some problems with these ones bleeding through on double side pages. Um, but if you use single sides, they work really good. So it has kind of pretty much like your kind of standard um, Crayola colors. And in this one, this is my miscellaneous one here. So these are all from the Dollar Tree. Um, it has some metallics. These are metallic ones, uh, broad tip felt pens, and these are glitters. So you kind of have to you have to shake it up. It's like a, a glitter inky feel to it, and it starts um, white. And then once you start to shake it, it gets blue. And it is really nice. Let's see if I can reach here and show you. The glitter for it. <clears throat> There's the blue. And you can get these at the Dollar Tree here in the United States. I got a green. Oop. Let's see. I can get this little. You have to shake it like a Posca pen. And you can kind of push it down like a Posca pen to get it flowing if you need to. Okay, and that's the red. I think it's this one. This one's almost empty. Yep. And then this one, I think, is the one. Nope. This one. But you can see kind of in this one where it's like uh, liquid in there. And then I'll show one of the metallics here for you. There we go. So you can see the nice glitter shine on there and the metallic shine. And which is really nice for like, you know, like a dollar store brand marker. They have an almost good nice gel pen shine to them. But I will say they are a pain in the butt to get started. So if you have kids, just hand them to the kid and say to shake it up because getting the one start that I had I had to start all of them, I had to sit there and like shake it back and forth for like 10 minutes, 20 minutes each to get it flowing. And then lastly, in my little pusheen here, are some miscellaneous pens I have. These are um, a permanent marker. I think they're, no, these are, these are the silly scent ones, I think. I think so, because they aren't permanent smelling, so. Yeah, these are the scented ones. They have scented markers like this. Yeah, these are the scented ones, the blue ones, and then they have in here the Crayola Silly Scents, which they actually do smell really good. This is marshmallow. Be a little bit of a burnt marshmallow because it's in the black one, but it does smell like a like a pack of marshmallows. I think that's it. It's just the scented one. Scented. Yeah, this is the Silly Scents in the Crayolas. And then the ones from the Dollar Tree. I figured it'd be perfect to put these ones in the Pusheen one because Pusheen and then some candy smelling markers, you know. So I think that is all of my markers. Let me try to check around the room. Yes, that is it. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Like I said, I will link all the ones that I can in the description bar below or that I can grab with markers and then um that if you want to get them there are uh, amazon associate links just so you know and i'm going to go ahead and end this one here so i hope you all have an amazing day i'm pre-filming tonight so i don't know when you're gonna actually see this because i'll probably upload it and then try to collect links um 
but I'm going to pre-film this, uh, pre this one. I'm going to do my gel pens and stuff, and then I'm going to do another one. So I think the other one I'm going to do, on, as you see, on Monday, and this one, will come, this one will be Tuesday, and the other one will be Wednesday. So that's it for today. I hope you all enjoy this video, and until next time, I hope you all have an amazing day, and happy coloring.